Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be learning the first topic in the module 5 which is about the exception handling. So for that the main thing uh, we need to know is the try-catch block. Okay, so I'll be adding a try-catch block and I'll be explaining uh, with an example how it works. Okay, so after we have added a try-catch block, we'll be adding some activity here. So if that activity gets successfully executed, it's okay. If it does not get executed due to some error, then the catch will happen. Okay, so let's uh, write an activity. For example, we are trying to assign something. Okay, assign a value. <clears throat> we are trying to assign a uh, value to an integer okay so let's create an integer x and we'll be assigning a value something called as 3 okay so 3 has been assigned to x and assign um, x has to be the variable of the int type so we'll be converting from the string to the int type and after the try has been executed we'll be adding a catch here so add a new catch and exception will be uh, we'll be selecting the system dot exception and to get more details of it, we can drop an activity here, like what should happen if the catch uh, happens. So we need to get to know what exactly the error is, right? So for that, we'll be adding a message box. Inside that, we'll be adding exception dot to string. Okay. Exception dot to string will be adding so that we'll be able to see what the exception happened. So this is a uh, thing. And after that, finally, what is the the yet the last there is something called as finally right so what does finally do is it will anyways execute even if the error has happened or not happened okay so we'll be seeing that as well so finally we'll run regardless of whether the error has happened or not so we'll be adding a message box here as well so that we'll be able to see finally if it's running or not uh, properly so here what we'll be adding is uh, success okay so success has been added let's uh, have a look of this one so in this case obviously there is no error so it will run uh, basically if there is error then only the catch statement will run so we'll be discussing in the upcoming videos what is the I means what are the common type of exceptions and in that case you'll be able to see the working of catch here it will uh, run exactly how it is supposed to and we'll get the message as success at the end so that was about uh, this video and uh, make sure the like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one